It's been called the Great Wall of Chalmette, and the flood protection structure is helping create a trout hotspot, as Don Dubuque explains in tonight's Fish and Game Report. There we go, that one might keep. Now this place is full of speckled trout, but if you're gonna come out here, you're gonna have to weed through those ones you need to release. Now they're fun to catch, but today we probably had to catch five fish to keep one. If you wanna get straight down to business and not deal with those little fish, is there any way to get away from them? The only way I could think of to get away from is fish big baits. If you could fish big mullets. All right, today is not the prettiest day to be out fishing, but let me tell you, the fish are here. The wall has really been productive for speckled trout lately. What is the philosophy on how to fish it? Well, we've been concentrating in deep water. Uh, deep water offers a consistent water temperature, and it doesn't have a lot of tide movement. As that water gets colder, we feel those fish get lethargic and don't want to fight that tide. I like the drop shot rig. I see a lot of people using Carolina rigs. I like this one for a variety of reasons. I feel the sinker is going to get down to that depth of water really quickly. And you can use a very light jig head on your plastic, which I feel when the fish grabs it doesn't feel the weight. He may hold it for just a second longer and give you a chance to set the hook. Oh, there's a nice speckled trout right there. Now, next few days you're going to be dealing with some high winds from a number of directions. But if you come out here, the water stays fairly clear. Just got to pick through your fish, catch and release those ones under 12 inches. You'll end up with a nice box of fish. With the Fish and Game Report, Don Dubuque, Eyewitness News. The Full Saints.